When it comes to writing long book series, what are the pros and cons? Let's talk about this so you can make the best decision for yourself. Now, long book series are fantastic if you can make money at it. If you have a series where you have dedicated fans, they'll read through whatever you write. So as long as you have a good series, a good foundation, and it's already making money, by all means, create a long book series. Now, this does mean a long time commitment. It does mean that you're going to have to be with the same characters in the same storyline for a very long period of time. So as long as you're okay with that and you don't have to do the next shiny project, by all means, write the long book series. Because when they read book one and two and three and they're invested in these characters, they'll read through book 15, 20, 50, whatever it happens to be, if you can get them hooked, you will have that readership follow you for the length of your series as long as you maintain the standard that you created in the beginning. That is going to be financially very beneficial to you. However, when you are writing a series, there's no guarantee that people are going to fall in love with it. If you don't have the right marketing, if you don't reach the right audience, if you do not get to that point and you commit to a very long series, that could be years of your life without making money. So you need to have an escape plan. If you want to do the long series, have a way out if it doesn't sell the way you think it's going to sell. Make sure that you are testing through at least a handful of books. I would say a trilogy is probably good testing to decide if you want to then continue on or to end it. Have a way either way that you can get out and end it, that exit strategy, or potentially if you want to continue on, a way to extend it and expand it. Even if you had originally marketed it as a duology or a trilogy, have a way to then add, expand, grow, change, whatever you happen to do. And if you're somebody who does need the next shiny new thing, you can actually create a series that's not following one specific character. Book one can be one character, book two can be another character, or each trilogy inside of it can be about a different character. I had a series once where I did a trilogy and focus on one character, and then the follow-ups were going to be about other characters. However, it didn't take off the way that I had planned. That was my exit strategy. So I did my trilogy, had the full trilogy out. Everybody loves it, but I didn't make the money that some of my other books were making. So I decided to end it after that. It could have and would have gone on to follow a different character that I had introduced in the first trilogy. And then I could have gone on for as long as I was making money on that in those sets of trilogies. So have a way in, have a way out, have a way to extend, have a way to get out so that you can make money elsewhere. The pros are that if you can get them hooked, you can make a ton of money, make a name for yourself, a reputation. You can even build it up if you are having that IP that people are going for. If they were loving that particular in, uh, intellectual property that you've created for that series, you could potentially be building up your viewership to get a movie deal. They get uh, a different types of TV shows and things like that because you have a large and expansive following for that. It's really good for building up opportunities for you. However, you have to get past that first point of are you going to make money on it? And if not, what are you going to do? Because you shouldn't be spending years of your life creating a series that you're not making money on when you could be making money on a different type of book or series. So you want to make sure that you've got all those things thought about. You've figured out what you were going to do, a way to extend it, a way to get out of it, opportunities for you either way. Or you can just decide, yeah, this is going to be a long series and I'm committed to it. I really want to do this. And whatever happens, happens. You can also say, I am only going to do this for two books, for three books, for five books, whatever it happens to be. And that is your start and your finish points. So depends on who you are, how fast you write, how good you are at marketing, how you are at getting people's attention, how good you are at making sales and getting a fandom to follow you and to engage with you so that you can then expand what you are doing. Drop your questions on long series, short series down below. We want to make sure we're helping you in the publishing space to get this to be your most profitable year ever with the least amount of stress and effort and work put into it so you can create luxury time in your business so that your business is working on your behalf without you having to be hands on every minute of every day so that it can be your most profitable year while you're also living out your best life and living out your other dreams. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.